Hi, brothers and sisters. Okay, I'm coming on here for two reasons. I did receive a word from the Lord April 2nd, uh, yesterday, excuse me, <laughs> April 2nd. Um, but also, I wanted to get, uh, well, he is having me get on here and get a little bit of help from my brothers and sisters. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> My uh, for the for the past uh, several weeks, he has been showing me the numbers 22 and 44 repeatedly. Now he's been showing me a lot of double numbers. I've been seeing double numbers everywhere, but really 22 and 44. And about a week ago, he made me realize he was trying to tell me something. So you know, I I searched them up. I've looked at them on Google on on Bible Hub, and you know, I really haven't found or understood what he's trying to tell me. Uh, now, I do know, he told after he told me, it was about two days later, <clears throat> that he put the thought in my head, you know, 22 goes into 44 twice, so it, it you know, it doubles itself, you know, um, and, you know, I knew that already, but, but that didn't cross my mind at first, you know, it was not till two days later that, that he put that in there, but I still don't understand what he's trying to tell me. So, you know, he's wanting me to also, you know, also, <laughs> he's wanting me to ask, uh, you know, if, if any one of you know of, uh, you know, something more of, of 22 or 44, um, you know, if you could help me out, I'd be greatly appreciated. Okay. <clears throat> oh, forgive me. Mm, my throat's kind of sore this morning. Um, okay, so I said, I received the word, I've, I received a word from the Lord April 2nd mm, at uh, 8.05 p.m. And uh, he led me this morning to 1 Timothy uh, 4, verses 1 and 2, and 2 Timothy 2, verses 12 and 13. And uh, just a few minutes ago, <laughs> it, it took a little bit, but a few minutes ago, he put it, he, he made me realize that, uh, uh, again, uh, to this four and two, two goes into four, doubles itself. I don't know really what that has to do, what he's trying to tell me, but you know, okay. <sighs> Daughter of the one true God, write down my words now for those with eyes to see and ears to hear. My children, I know that you are so very tired. I know that you are being attacked daily by the enemy. I know the lies in which he tries to feed you. Please, my children, please listen to your shepherd only. Do not believe in his lies that I am not coming, that you are not worthy to go with me. I smashed every lie he has ever tried giving way back when I suffered, bled, and died upon that cross. You are so very beloved by me. I see so many of my children doubting my return. Yes, I have been warning my people of my return for years now. But I am a fair God. I am a merciful God. I am a loving and caring God. It is not my desire that even one should perish. With something as massive as my return, do you not think that I would warn in every way possible? Do you not think that I would try to give Every chance there is to turn to me and repent. I have all things in control. And I am coming at any moment. That is why I have recently given you the feeling that it is so close. That is why you have been a Oh, excuse me. That is why you have been, you are being, <laughs> that is why you are being attacked so very heavily. Don't you see? It is all because we have reached the end. 
Keep your faith and trust in your righteous shepherd alone, and you will be fine. I am coming. I am coming. I am coming. With all my love, Yahshua HaMashiach. Okay, brothers and sisters, so, you know, he's telling me to say, we must trust in the feeling that he has given us. I know I am not the only one that he has given this feeling that we are we are so close. This is a new feeling. You know, I mean, I have been watching for his return since the beginning of 2014. So, you know, I, I believed he was coming in 2015. Now... I was a baby Christian still kind of back then, so I was an, uh, I was unaware. And, um, you know, uh, but, you know, I've been watching and waiting, and, 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 I, and I know that we have thought he is coming in the past. But he has given us this feeling now that we are so close that something is about to happen we must trust in that we must also trust in the fact that you know he has also uh you know shown us that we are not alone in the in the ways that we are feeling that we are feeling so very tired this this new feeling of father god we sometimes we feel like we just can't go anymore we are so tired that we are at our limit at times you know I mean, we, we're, we're going to go wherever he needs us to go. We will obey him. We would go into the gates of hell themselves for him, right? But we do feel at, the, at times we just, <laughs> we can't go anymore and we've reached our limit. We have been praying for strength, renewed strength. We have been praying that he would take these arrows out of us, that he would stand us back on our feet, that he would heal us if he is not coming at any moment, if you if you, we we got some time left, we've been praying for renewed strength and all that, and He has not given it to us yet. Why? Why do we think that is? For me, I believe it's because we're leaving at any moment. You know, I know He is a loving God. He would give us this strength in a heartbeat if we had some time left to go. And I don't don't get me wrong, I am not saying. We are leaving. We are leaving. We are leaving. I know for a fact we're leaving. No. I'm just saying, I'm looking at all the facts that he's given us. I'm looking at all the stuff that he has put in front of us to show us, you know, that we we are almost there. You know, it says no one knows the day or the hour, but there's also some verses in there. I'm believing now that... Um, and I don't have them off the top of my head, but I'll try to put them in the in the uh, comment section. But I am believing now that the bride, those who are wise, you know, we won't know the exact day, granted, but we will know when it's about to happen. I believe that with all my heart. I believe he's showing us this. You know, he is showing us, be ready, be ready, be ready, because it's coming. You know, um, God, there was something else he put in my spirit, and I can't think of it now. Oh, we must keep our wicks trimmed, brothers and sisters. We must, you know, have an abundance amount of oil. Like I say, again, you know, I know I said that last time, I believe. Oh, he's putting it on my spirit again. We must be those wise virgins, you know. Stay wise, Brothers and sisters, stay wise, stay ready, stay watching, because you know, he he is coming. You know, if, if you're doubting, that's okay. Go to him. Let him renew your your faith. Let him renew your trust, because he will. You know. Okay, brothers and sisters, I love you all so very much. Remember to p repent on a daily basis. Make sure you are right with him. Because do not be left here to suffer the horrible things to come. And they are horrible. Pray, pray, pray for, for, for those that are left behind. You know. Okay, brothers and sisters, I love you all so very much. 
In Christ Jesus, we are bonded together for all of eternity. I love you all so very much. Shalom.